Welcome to another episode of Bassa with Captain Lou. Guys, the swim bait bite is on. It's a beautiful March morning, and I'm going after fish like this, but maybe a little bit bigger. So stick around and let's see if I'm successful today. Oh, okay, this is a good fish. Holy crap, this is a good fish. Oh, this is a nice fish. Oh, this is a nice fish. This is a nice fish. This is a nice fish. And look, the hook just came right off. I caught that bass on a, on a little tip of a reed. And I was just getting myself situated and sure enough, this one hit. Beauty. So as I was saying, I cast right at a point of, of reeds and I was adjusting myself. I'll have to look at the footage, but I just let the swim bait drop down. I felt the tick. Then when I reared back, when they can't get their head out, that means they're a decent size. So that was pretty cool. So what's going on is that there is a nice swim bait bite I've caught. I've already lost count how many I've caught. They, they haven't been big, however, and I know that I've been doing a lot of swim bait videos so I want to bring you guys and show you guys how to catch some fish with some substance to it. So I'm getting a little bit more specific in where I'm casting the swim bait to see if maybe I can lure out some bigger bass. And so far what I've been doing, and I've talked about this before and I even did a contest about it, was I've been fishing the shadow lines. It's so bright that I'm just looking for something dark. And as you guys, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's a little bit breezy, but there's a lot of dark po uh, patches and, and lines. So I'm taking advantage of those lines and seeing maybe if the bass are in the big bass at least are in those. A little tip that I like to uh, share with you guys is I mean I'm sure you guys have heard about this before but it's called counting down. So when you're fishing with a very light swim bait I mean this is only like an eighth of an ounce. So I'm, I'm fishing these deeper pockets. These pockets are anywhere, maybe anywhere between four to five feet. So what I'm doing is I'm, vis I'm seeing how long it takes the, the, the swim bait to touch the bottom so that I know when I cast out to a pocket, I know that I have to, I'm counting it down. By the time it hits anywhere between four to five seconds, I know I'm on the bottom already. Oh, there he is. Oh. <laughs> that was a nicer bass. <laughs> Nice bass. I saw this guy trailing the swim bait because I'm in pretty shallow water. He was trailing it at about a foot away. I killed the swim bait. He veered off when the swim bait touched the bottom and I moved it, he circled around and grabbed it. And as far as conditions today, I mean, you guys could see it's a beautiful cloudy day, but again, <laughs> I swear every time I do a video for you guys out here, the winds are from the Northeast and they're blowing 10 to 15, which makes it, makes it a little challenging, especially on this little boat. So because of the wind, what I'm doing is I'm just anchoring in areas that look fishy. So as you guys could see, I have isolated cattails surrounded by reeds. Uh, I got pepper grass patches. So I'm just taking advantage of, the, of, of being stationary and then methodically taking my time and working these areas because with this wind, without this anchor, I would have been, I would have been in my truck already. All right, just in case, I think I may have lost my audio a little earlier. Uh, the bites picked up a little bit. My strategy has completely changed. I've had to increase the weight of my swim bait and fish it deep, fish it slow like a T-rig, and then commence as a swim bait. And I've been doing pretty good. I know you, I know my audio may have been out, but you guys saw the images and some pretty nice bass have been caught. I'm anchoring because of the wind and then breaking down the cover methodically and it's working. So stick around. Oh, that was a nice one. That was a nice one. So what happened was he hit, I felt, but he bolted towards me, so I have to reel fast, 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 fast to get that leverage on him. By the time I got the leverage, he beat me. So sometimes they do that. It's 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 who could who could reel the fastest? There he is. Oh my god, this is a 
big fish. Oh, look at this thing. Woo. Oh, look, barely hooked on her lip. Look, barely hooked on her lip. So that five pound beauty hit in a clump of uh, reeds. I have since changed locations. I've gone a little shallower and I, I launched it. I mean, the wind just took it and I felt the tick. I knew it was nice, but I didn't know it was that nice because again, it was swimming towards me until I saw the head and I'm like, oh man, but that was a solid fish. That's a nicer one. Chunky, but they're fun at that distance. <laughs> Oh my God, look at the size of this. Whoa. 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 Look at this thing. You guys aren't gonna believe how I caught this. And the hook fell out, look at this. All right, let me explain that bite. That one has been the craziest bite in my career, I would say. So I cast the swim bait. I felt a little tick and it was a little bass. So I was reeling in the bass, not paying attention because I was gonna look where I was gonna cast next while I'm fighting the little bass. All of a sudden, I hear a bigger splash. And then I look and it's that four pounder head shaking. So what happened was the little one got loose and the swim bait just kept swimming. And then it swam right above <laughs> the layer of where that four pounder was. That was nuts. So folks, right now it's just crazy. Swimming along vegetation, casting along vegetation patches, and the bigger ones, I think they're staging the fun. The big ones are around and they're just clobbering the swim bait. So it's pandemonium right now. In case anybody's curious on what outfit I'm pulling these bass out of cover with, it's the Champion 735 SLX with a 45 pound braid, uh, a owner swim hook, and this is a locket lures swim minnow. That's a nice fish. That's a nice one. Man. Nice size buck. Folks, the fish are here, the fish are active, but the wind is unbelievable, so uh, it's just throwing me out of my strike zones. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and check out. As you guys saw, the day was unbelievable. I caught several nice fish. It was a swim bait bite. All I did was just vary the approach of the swim bait with weight, with my cadence. I explained it through the video, but nonetheless, it was just unbelievable. I had a great time. I appreciate you guys for watching the video. Thank you for taking the time and uh, watching my content. Like the video, share the video. Better yet, just become part of this community. You guys wanna come out here and enjoy the Everglades with me? aeguideservice.com. Take care of yourself, guys.